Hello and welcome guys, my name's Thomas and I'm a little bit ill so I'm very sorry this is a little bit rambling and I know that this is just to, to a small audience because it's PHP and I think I don't have much viewers who can code in PHP but hello, I want to make a tutorial and I know probably 99% of you will already know that but today I want to go about debugging and in the next video I will go about making a dummy form validator Actually, not a validator, but more of a kind of a test script to test if your form works, if your HTML form works, at least. But today we're going to go about debugging. So we have two functions to debug in PHP. One of them is called print underscore R, which stands for print recursive, and it will go through an array and basically print everything. So we have print R, and we can basically supply everything we have as a dummy data. As you can see, I do have a string, I do have a flowers array, which is a numeral array, and I do have an associative array, which has the keys breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which sign to values bread, soup, and banana, which represent the truth, by the way. Okay, so we will have that three times, probably. We will have that for, for our flowers and for our meals and we'll save this and open it up in, an, in a web browser and then we see this garbled mess. Why do we do that? Well, because our encoding is switched to HTML and it prints it as a text. So what we either need to do is we need to print an echo around it which converts um, new lines to breaks or we just use the pre-HTML um, tag in order to get that straight. So here we have the pre-tag and uh, yeah, now we can just use the echoes beautiful endless arguments function. So we can basically print everything in here. And then of course at the end close the pre key. You don't have to do this because, well, it's just for debugging, right? Okay, now you, you will see that everything's beautiful except that we are one liners, which is not great. But as well as the other stuff, we can fix that by simply using HTML, which is just a BR tag. And it might seem a little bit too dumb to do this, but usually you will only debug one value at a time instead of having three values, to be honest. And now we will have that, and here we go. Now what can we see through this? Well, first of all, we see that we have a string, and then we will see that we actually have two arrays and what can we see in those arrays in those arrays we can have uh, basically the keys and the values that assigned to it so for a numeral array of course this is numbers it starts with zero as you might know and uh, here we have zero is assigned to roses as you can clearly see and also for breakfast I had bread so breakfast is assigned to bread although I should I should say it differently but for key value pairs, that's pretty much good. And yeah, it's just a nice little trick to debug. Another little trick we can do is not to use print R, but to use another little function that is called var underscore dump. They have a little bit, um, another, not syntax, but they use a little bit of a different kind of combination of uh, putting out stuff like we do here. Here we can see, um, that it even represents uh, a data type and also the number of characters we have in a string, for example, and this works for every variable. If I would have an integer, an int, and I would put a number into it, and I would want to var dump that, I can do that very easily. Again, repeat our little steps, um, like so. I probably can copy that and here we go it's now a little word dump and we do want to have it of the int variable and then we want to refresh and here you can see we have an integer with the value 1 to 3 which is nice and if we change the integer to a float it will even know that there we go float if we had a double and so on and so forth, it would just work. So this is a nice little. These are nice little tools for uh, quick, quick people who want to 
basically just see the data type of something and if something's not associated other than print out which would throw an exception it just says null which is nice okay so we just get rid of that of the wire dump statement right here and yeah as i said those are some nice little functions what can you use them for for example imagine you had a database connection and you had some values in it and you didn't know on how to basically select them for example let, let's say that you um, did some mysql functions like count which is a mysql function and it works fine as a query in mysql query and also in other, every other querying type in php so yeah you did a query you fetch the resources with fetch object, fetch um, associative, and stuff like that. And now you don't know on how to call this statement, or basically you don't know how the key is. Well, you can either use var dump or print a to get that solved for you. Or if you're a little more into knowing what you're doing and printing a uh, stuff for yourself you can do variant 3 which is very nice in my opinion it is uh, a little bit complicated a little bit more complicated than the others but we use the for each function and here we have a little template that my editor supplies us and uh, we can do this for all the arrays we cannot do this for strings obviously but we can do this for arrays and objects I think and uh, so what we want to do, we want to go flowers, which is our standard um, array, standard numeral array. We have the variable flowers, then we have an as statement, and we assign a key, the keys to the key variable, and the values to the value variable. So what this will do is basically, as I said, it will take the array and loop through each items and uh, then basically get the key and the value pair and assign them to variables which we can use in the script. So now, as I said, if you wanted to know all the great stuff, which basically means the keys and the output, so the key and the value, we can do this very easily in here. And for that, we just need to echo out the keys and the value. Uh, well, how surprising is that? We can code our own print R if you want that um, value. Here we go. Save that. Refresh. And here we go. Of course, it looks a little bit messy. Why is that? It is because we didn't break the line. And we can fix this. Then we can refresh. And here we go. There we see it. Zero is roses and one is violets. And we can use this little piece of script each time for any of these arrays. So. You could also pack this into a function and check if for each is successful, and if not, we do something else. As you can see, I've assigned it to the um, meals array, and now you can see breakfast was bread, lunch was soup, and dinner was banana. And we need this particular type of, of snippet to do our form validation in the next part. Yeah. And that's basically it for this little video. I hope you had kind of fun. And as I said, I'm sorry that I'm ill, but I wanted to do a cool little video and this just came to my mind and see you next time. Goodbye.